Hello and welcome to the 50th tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at setting up keyboard events. We'll be using the source code from the 7th part of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. Cocos 2D JS provides us with all the desired functionality for keyboard recognition in the form of events. This tutorial will only set up keyboard events and the next couple of tutorials will make use of it. Your prerequisite, you will require some sort of device that has a keyboard, it's not sound obvious, but just make sure you have one. If you want touch or mouse events, uh, then check out the last few tutorials in this series. Okay, so what we're going to do is open up our app.js, which contains our current layer, and we will set up the keyboard event. And to do that, we need to check if keyboard is available, aka does this, is the system capable of keyboard events. So if to, to check for keyboard event, you do cc .sys. So in the system, let's check its capabilities. Make sure it's got capabilities right. Capabilities looks a okay to me. Dot has own property, and then in here, it's gonna put keyboard. And now we've checked if it has the capabilities to use keyboard, aka do they have a keyboard. And now we need to just create the listener. So cc dot event manager dot add listener braces and in here we're gonna do event colon cc dot event listener and the the listen that the event they need to listen for is keyboard. So keyboard put a comma at the end. You need to put a comma, put this semicolon, and that is keyboard event set up. It's gonna run through the code, make sure it's all spelled correctly. So cc dot sys aka the system capabilities dot has own property keyboard looks like okay to me. Now cc dot event manager dot add listener event colon cc dot event listener dot keyboard and comma this semicolon yeah that looks a okay to me we won't be running this because we haven't actually incorporated key events here but in the next part of this series what we're going to be looking at is when the user has pressed a key if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, just directly message us via YouTube, or the requirements for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.